That is your chance to be rude Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret Let me phrase it like this, I'm about to suggest to you how you may grow if you choose to grow this way. And you, can, you can ignore no, me, you Pierce, can ignore Pierce, me. Pierce, Pierce, how much money are you worth? Not as much as you, sadly. Exactly, so take my advice. Maybe you'll get richer. Pow! Well, guys, how's it going? So, hope everybody's well. Just wanted to pick up on a few details from that previous Eve entry because it closed out pretty much 95%. So let's just have a quick look on the daily chart. So on the right hand side, I've got the 12 hour candles. As you can see down here is the, the the daily overwatch, okay? So you can see it's on the day, it's still heavily on the upside, working its way to that upper boundary. And when we, when we do look at the overwatch on the 12 hour, okay, you can see it is in that boundary now. So, you know, all's good. We've made the money here, but feeling a bit uncomfortable with that upper boundary. But saying that, it could just keep going. Okay, so just need to make sure. So we're going to move down to the lower time frames and try and dissect what's happening with this. So on the left hand side, you can see the four hour chart. Now, if you look at the overwatch, this is four hour overwatch. It's pushed into that lower boundary. It's come out and then it's made a divergence. Okay, and then we've consolidated for a while. Now, when we make a divergence, it's going to be a reversal or consolidation. We have the divergence, consolidation, as you can see, for quite a few months. And then we've moved to the upside. Now, this is the first time we've been in this upper boundary since the low boundary penetration. So this is why it's important. So... You know, not too much to report on those high time frames. Just keeping an eye on that um, to see what's going to happen here, whether it's going to go for them extra pushes up and then potentially move down relief rally, or we're going to see that relief rally come in. Got some levels plotted on on the right hand side, as you can see. These are just um, certain POCs for impulse runs and value areas and um, the trend master level. So let's just move down to these lower time frames and really get a grip on what's going on. So if I just zoom out so we can cover this um, this range, you can see that previous time where it's dipped into the lower boundary on the bottom left hand corner of the screen, divergence has come in and that's where I've labelled the divergence on the candlestick chart. It's consolidated for a few months and then we've broken out as you can see. We had one more dip into that level. Okay into the overwatch which was this dump down um, no doubt this dump down was manipulation before this impulse run so now what we've got is okay if we just extend this kind of range out i've got this volume profile built on here and the volume profile is built from this low okay this low you can see this trend line working up okay it's worked up it first time into the upper boundary for the overwatch for the first time moved away and that was when it peaked outside of that trend line. Relief coming back up into the, well, past the overwatch boundary. And as you can see, this is that pump up. And then we've come and made a divergence here on the one hour and started to decline off. Now, as I said, when this happens, when these divergences come in, we could see consolidation and then the you know, Overwatch is going to drop down, ready, for, kind of reset, ready for another go, um, and it just pretty much consolidates. So we'll we'll see this this kind of lower level here respected, and it will just maneuver sideways until the indicators are reset. But obviously, you got to keep in mind the 12 hour and the daily Overwatch, the bias. Where is it sitting? Is it sitting in the upper boundaries, etc. But for me, the bias is good, and we can wait for a shift below four hour first, then twelve hour, then daily. Um, but really, this this uh, this dash trend line that I've got on the the Overwatch is is telling me something as well. We've, we've broke below. We we are moving up for a bounce here, so we can't really say what's going to happen. But you know, not really looking to take any longs at the moment, and um, just wait and see what happens here. Okay, so that's about it. Not much to 
report here just wanted to explain that we, we have had that consolidation from the overwatch boundary we've got the divergence coming in we've got this kind of trend line broken on the overwatch and um, you know be careful okay all the best hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you can get don't let them guide your life towards regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath my past is filled with things i won't forget i use them all to push me to my best so treat the worst of times just like a test if only i could go back in time i tell myself that everything will end up all right just push yourself test yourself figure out what you like and find your limits don't be rigid always work towards a prime surround yourself with open minds people can change your life a few friends with intent can help you feel alive find a passion take some action and with a little time just be patient make a statement try to enjoy your life they'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it 